Hey Cancer, how are you guys? So today I'm bringing you guys a reconciliation reading. We're going to see what is going on between you and the person that is on your mind. But before we get started guys, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, click that notification bell. It allows me to connect with you energetically and it definitely helps me out with the growth of the channel. As you all know, these readings are timeless, general love readings, so they may or may not resonate with you. Please take what does, leave the rest behind. Time is fluid, so whenever you find this reading, you are meant to hear it. And there is no gender in tarot. Reverse your roles as need be. Cross watchers, you are always welcome. Guys, don't forget to check your sun, your moon, your rising, and Venus signs for additional messages and clarity regarding your situation. So we're going to go ahead and get started here, Cancer. Let's see what is the overall energy in this situation for you and the person that is on your mind. The person who you're currently in separation with. Universe, Archangels, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians. What is the overall energy in this connection? Getting to know each other. Pisces got this too. And healing family issues. Forgiving and learning. Okay. Possible challenge, codependency. Okay. So what I'm getting in this situation right now is that obviously you guys are currently in separation. But it's because there had to be some healing. Something needed to happen here from the past. Your person needed to deal with something that he or she didn't pay attention to. And the reason why they had to do it now is because you came in as a soulmate. Okay. And when you're presented with your soulmate right before you, your soulmate always pushes you to go within and work on yourself and be the best that you can be. So I feel that that's what you did with this person is that you pushed this person to go back and heal some family issues. Okay. This was a very fresh connection to me, no more than a year old, because you guys were still getting to know each other. You guys were still at the fresh stages of the relationship. There's going to have to be a process here for forgiving and learning, but I do feel that that's going to present a challenge, okay? Because even though you were the one that pushed this person to go within and heal some past um, life trauma, the way they went about and the way they walked away from you wasn't okay, okay? Um, they kind of abruptly stopped communicating with you. They stopped um, looking for you. Um, you guys could have even had an argument where you hung up on each other and they didn't call you for weeks and weeks. Um, and you, you had no idea what was going on. So when this person is presented back into your life and they're getting ready to want to heal this connection and they want some forgiveness from you, they want to tell you what lessons they learned, you might not be open and receptive to it. Because I feel like the way they walked away from this connection was wrong. So let's see here. Let's First things first. Let's see what happened in the recent past. Why did this breakup happen? Universe, archangels, spirit, angel guides, and guardians. Why did the breakup happen between... Cancer and the person that is on their mind. You got the page of cups in the reverse with the wheel of fortune in the reverse. Six of pentacles. So, I feel that this person was having to balance a lot on their plate. Okay. They were trying to give you an equal time, equal give and take. They could have had a child with another person that also needed their undying attention. Um, and then with the Wheel of Fortune, I feel that their finances were kind of screwed up too, okay? They may have been paying a lot of child support or they weren't getting any child support, okay? Um, this person felt like they were being juggled all over the place and they weren't able to give nor you nor anything else their proper attention um, and the affection it desired and required, okay? They also felt like things around them were falling apart with the Wheel of Fortune, the reverse. If it wasn't one thing, it was another, it was another, and it was another, okay? So what this person ended up doing here with the Four of Pentacles energy is that they ended up retreating, hiding, not communicating, not telling you why they were why they were closing off from you, why were they disconnecting. And like I told you, they walked away from you with the Ace of Swords in the reverse and the Page of Wands in the reverse without communicating absolutely anything, okay? They left you in limbo, okay? You had no idea what the, why, why they walked away. You kind of somewhat, kind of summed up an idea in your head, but the truth of the matter is that you had no idea why this person even walked away. For some of you guys, you felt like they could have gone back to an ex. I don't feel that they went back to an ex. It's just this person, you were dealing with somebody who is very pride, prideful. Someone who really doesn't open up too much to other people. Uh, another thing is that this person has never had people depend that he could depend on. He or she could depend on. Okay, So when you were presented, it was like you were too good to be true because you had their back. 
you made sure that they were always good. You also went out of your way and made sure that this person was good. But they felt like it was too good to be true. And they were kind of scared to a certain extent um, investing in this connection. Okay, so instead of opening up and letting you know how they really felt, they just decided to walk away. <clears throat> Let's see, how's your ex, how does your ex feel about you and the situation, the temperance? Okay, so they do want to have some type of peace, harmony, and balance here. The temperance for me is as well a reconciliation card. It's soulmates coming back together. This person wants to get back into that beautiful energy that you once had um, in this connection, the judgment. Okay, so they're in this place right now where they want to make decisions to come towards you. Okay, they know they caused you a lot of sadness. They know that they caused you a lot of betrayal here. But with the five of wands in the reverse, this person is wanting to come towards you and make amends. Okay, how do they feel about you is that they want to come back and win you back. Okay, I feel that this person wants another second chance here with you. They want to bring in peace, harmony, and balance. You are you were a very peaceful, harmonious person in their life. Okay. You always had their back. I just feel like even though this relationship was a rather fresh relationship, you showed them what loyalty really was and they were really caught off guard with that. Universe, Archangels, Spirit, Angel Guides, and Guardians. Sorry about that, guys. I had to pause the video for a second. Alrighty, so let's see what is this person's true feelings and emotions towards you, Cancer. Universe, Archangels, Spirit, Angel Guides, and Guardians. How is this person really feeling about my Cancer? What are their true emotions towards my Cancer? The Empress. So they feel that you're an Empress. Remember, guys, there is no gender in tarot. All I do is read the energies. But this person views you as an Empress here. Holy shit, they want commitment with you. Oh, damn, did I just curse? I'm sorry. I'm trying to really be a good girl. 2023 was going, it is going to be the year that I'm going to, me and my spirit guys are going to get it together. And we're going to stop being potty mouths. But what I'm really getting here, guys, is that this person views you as the end all be all. They want marriage. They want commitment. They want stability with you. Okay. Queen of Swords energy. This per, what in the world? I feel that this person has had this overall epiphany moment. Okay. Because you got the 10 of cups energy here. Okay. You got the Queen of Swords. They want to have a conversation with you. When this person comes back towards you, because they will, they will be presenting themselves back into your life. They're coming in with major, major offers. None of this, oh, I'm sorry. Can you forgive me? Can we try again? Can we start over again? Hell no. This person going to come in with, I love you. I want to be with you. I made a mistake. I got to get this right. Meet you Monday morning at the courthouse. We're getting ready. We're getting married. And we're buying our house after that. Like they are going full blown active with you. They're, they're not going to let anything hold them back. They want to put the past in the past. Okay. This person definitely wants to put the past in the past and they don't want to entertain any shenanigans anymore. They're ready to move forward. Okay. Their true feelings towards you is that they love you. They view commitment with you. They view stability with you. They view a forever with you. You will be the person that they're going to grow old with. Universe, Archangel, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians. What are the potential challenges that hold this connection from coming back together? What could potentially be a challenge in this situation? The Magician, the Page of Swords, and the Ten of Wands. So... The challenge that can possibly hold them back is cancer. You're going to find it a little bit difficult to trust this person with the world in the reverse and the ten of wands in the reverse. Also the seven of wands in the reverse. You are going to feel... See, remember how early on in the reading this person felt like you were too good to be true? Now you're feeling that they're too good to be true. You're like, I don't know if I can trust you. This person is manifesting you hard. They're communicating every step of the way. I want to be with you. I want to heal this connection. I want to work on this relationship. I want victory. I want success. Okay. I want stability. I want you to be my queen of pentacles. I want you to be my king of pentacles. They're constantly telling you and telling you, but you are in the seven of pentacles energy here where you're wondering, should I, would I, could I trust this person again? The potential challenge here is if you can believe this person or not because the way they did you in the past, it's really hard for them to win your trust back. So you might be holding yourself back from this connection, but they're coming in with major, major offers, Cancer, okay? Major offers. This person wants to move forward. I don't get this person just coming towards you to blow smoke up your ass. That's not it. They really do want forward movement. They do want stability with you. What is the outcome of this situation for Cancer? And the person that is on their mind universe. The two of wands energy. 
and the Three of Cups energy. For some of you guys, because you can't trust this person, you may be blocking your reunion, your reconciliation, your celebration, okay? And for others of you guys, you may ultimately end up taking that risk and achieve that Ten of Pentacles energy here, okay? It's just all about you, whether or not you want to give this person another opportunity here. For some of you guys, this has been a missed opportunity. You don't want to go back to it, and that's fine. You don't have to, okay? You, you feel like you've already closed out this chapter with this person and you don't want to have any more instabilities or any more insecurities. And that's perfectly fine, okay? You can always choose to walk away. But for those of you that waited for this person to come back, there's going to be a very passionate new beginning here between you and this person. The person that ultimately views you as their soulmate, as their lifelong partner, as their divine counterpart, okay? They will be coming towards you and apologizing for their past mistakes, okay? They will be bringing in truth and clarity to the situation. They will want to keep this connection always a priority in their life they will never leave the relationship out in the cold ever again okay so if you do choose to give this person an opportunity there are major major changes coming here in the relationship it's all about forgiving and learning if you can forgive and you and you can get past the the, the drama and the trauma from the from the past you guys can definitely have a beautiful, successful relationship. But at this point, Cancer, it's all going to lie on you, whether or not you can get past what this person did to you in the past. All right, guys. I hope and pray that this reading gave you the clarity that you needed. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Click that notification bell. And if anyone is interested in a personal reading, the information is in the description box below. I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye.